Verstappen won the Bahrain Grand Prix by 22 whole ass seconds. Um, that's that's a long time. Um, it was his eighth consecutive win. He is two wins away from tying his record for consecutive race wins, which he set last season. Um, and when you know Max Verstappen is somebody who notoriously is not very great off the line, but this was probably one of the best starts I've ever seen from him. Yeah. He had a really good start. So did Checo. Um, yeah. They both had really good starts. I mean, um, I, I'm just saying that because like Red Bull, Red Bull, but it seemed like the Red Bulls were really good off the start. Um, granted, it's driver reaction time too, but they both looked good. At the start. Yeah. It just, Max is notorious for, for being able to salvage like some pretty not so great starts. So yeah. it was actually a surprise to just see him just like lights went out and he went away yeah. he away he gone um and so i as the the red bull fan of the podcast i'm happy to see that he's you know learning something new as the you know halftime supporter of max verstappen only um i thought he drove a really good race it i mean again we don't really see him in the telecast anymore because he's so far ahead he lapped everyone ex- like through 11th so if you got a point you weren't lapped by max but if you you know, didn't get a point. Essentially, where you were lapped by Max Verstappen. Um, yeah, he's just so dominant. And we and I and again, am I his number one fan? No, but I give him a lot of credit, and it's it's very impressive what he's doing. He had a really good drive. He, I mean, you can't not give him praise when he wins by twenty two seconds. Yeah, and it's you know. It was there were some questions after the free practices and the qualifying of like, is this Red Bull going to be a goddamn rocket ship? And spoiler alert, it is. Um oh, yeah. like I was a little nervous to pick him for poll because yeah. we do we do our selections before any free practices or anything like that. So coming out of testing, that's all we had on the Red Bulls. And it's like, well, I, I feel like Max is an easy win, but I also don't know because who knows what's gonna come out of it. So, yeah. and I mean, Leclerc even had a faster time in qualifying in Q2 than, you know, Max ended up winning qualifying or winning pole in Q3. So, right. I don't know. It's all about when it, you put together that lap. Exactly. It is. It is. So, yeah. But yeah, it was, uh, it was good to watch him. Yeah, and then not only was, you know, Max incredibly dominant, this was his first Grand Slam of the year, which is pole, fastest lap, lead wire to wire, and obviously win the race. Um, This is his fifth in his career. He's tying with Ascari and Schumacher um, for third all-time. Next, he's going after Lewis in P2 with six, and then Jim Clark with eight. Um, And I think that I don't know if he'll get them this year, but I think he'll 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 break that record in his career. Um, he's also the first uh, driver to score a Grand Slam in the season opener since Schumacher in 2004, which was before Red Bull was even a team. I feel like we just need a new section of this podcast of like Max's achievements. <laughs> yes, <laughs> the, the Max Verstappen portion of the record book. Max Verstappen's record book portion of the podcast. Yes, and then we just rattle everything off. Oh my gosh, yeah. I know. It's it's wild. I just Yeah, what what Red Bull has been able to accomplish in 20 seasons is it's insane. Yeah. I mean, if you look they they just had their 114th race win in 20 seasons. Williams has um the same amount of race wins but 27 more years in Formula 1 than Red Bull. Like that's Obviously, we know that that Williams is is struggling a little bit these these you know past decades, um, but like it's that's still a lot of wins, even though the schedule is admittedly longer now than it was you know back in the the early days in the heyday of Williams. Yeah, yeah, it's funny to think like Williams used to be good because as of late, yeah. they've struggled to get even. Yeah, wins, not a lot, let alone wins. So. Yeah. And then on the other side of the Red Bull garage, we have Sergio Perez, who actually ran a pretty decent race. I know you're you're not you're not as big as fan, no, but this but was did. one of his better races in the last year that he's been in that car or no, in it, a Red Bull car. Yes, yes, yes. It was a good race for him. Like I said, he did get off 
and you know the starting line very well he got away and immediately you know um overtook uh carlos yeah so he no he did drive a really good race he had some good overtaking i will give him that but i don't really want to talk i i know i know (laughs) i know um but it was why i have this hatred i just do (laughs) i know um but it was his best finish since monza last last season um and you know Qualifying fifth doesn't actually look great, but the fact that he was able to get the car up to to second and also to keep the car in second, um, because he, you know, late last season, he had two notoriously embarrassing last lap overtakes, one by Leclerc and one by Alonso. Um, So the fact that he was able to, you know, take P2 and then maintain position is something that we didn't see last year. And I'm really interested to, you know, obviously he's driving for his season seat um but it'll be interesting it looks like he's driving for his seat like he's yeah it, it'll be interesting to see how his performance holds up through through the season. You know, obviously it's, you know, well, will Max continue to be dominant, but will Perez continue to, you know, be comparatively successful?